Welcome to this video on gland packing. That's a valve we're going to be working on today, having a, a look at how to correctly go about packing that valve. That's 5, 16 or 8 millimeter greasy hemp square section packing. And this is a quarter inch, the same type of stuff. It's uh, cotton or flax woven and impregnated with lubrication grease. That's a packing knife that we use to cut the packing rounds to put into the stuffing box. Packing extractors, they've got the corkscrew type end on them. Flexible drive shafts and a little T-bar handle on the top to help you turn them. It's a dummy shaft, it's the same diameter as the stem of the valve that we'll be working on. And we use that to, as you can see there, wrap the packing around it. And then we cut off the number of packing strands that we want, but you'll see that a little bit later. Gives us a nice size of packing, fits neatly and correctly around the valve stem. Just a little bit of off-cut pipe that we're going to use to roll along the section of packing. And what that does, it just thins out the section in one dimension and allows it to slide down into the stuffing box between the stem and the stuffing box housing a little bit easier without having to force it down in there because it is a neat fit. Some other types of packing, this one here is just a, a flax or hemp type of packing in the center surrounded by a lead insulation around that or casing. That one's a graphite pa uh, packing, fairly thick type of packing. Uh, this one's just another small section greasy hemp, another small section of graphite packing. Generally you'd get a lot of graphite on your hands when you're dealing with that. And this one is a, f a flax or hemp type with a flax or hemp type core encased in a leather type of casing. What we're going to do now is remove the gland nuts. Just one on either side of the bridge piece there that you can see. Below the bridge piece is a, a bush, a gland bush. And it's the part that compresses the packing down into the stuffing box. This valve, as you can see, is a has a two-piece gland. It's got the bridge piece and the bush both separate. You can get them. Uh, many uh, many uh, types of valves have just a one-piece gland on them. The bridge and bush is all combined. Using the packing extractor here, just lift the bridge and the bush out of the way, slide that down into the stuffing box, twist the T-handle, and the corkscrew end then will find its way into the packing and you just pull on the T-handle and it should come out through the throat of the gland. Just taking the second round out now. These are referred to as uh, compression packings. You may have heard the name because the uh, packing is just compressed down into the uh, stuffing box, squeezes, squeezes it, the packing out against the valve stem and against the stuffing box housing and that uh, forms the seal. 
This is what we refer to as greasy hemp packing. It is a flax or hemp which has been woven like a cord uh, with grease impregnated, impregnated through the strands. So when it's under pressure, the grease gets forced out. And that lubricates the packing onto the shaft. Stops it from overheating and scoring or getting too much friction and drying out. That's the other thing that the lubrication does. It keeps the packing fresh, if you like, or soft and pliable so that when it is under pressure, it can compress and spread out and form that seal between both the housing and the valve stem. What happens when packing is very old and hasn't been changed when it should have been, there's no lubrication in there and it, it just cracks and doesn't compress and doesn't form the seal. What we're doing here is just taking the diameter of the stem of the valve. If we want to know what packing to use, we take that diameter and take the diameter of the throat of the stuffing box and subtract the diameter of the stem from that and divide it by two. That will tell us what section of gland packing to use. Another method too, of course, is if the gland packing that you've brought out is uh, correct packing that has been used for the job, you can use that, of course, as a guide like I'm doing here to get the length of packing that you want to cut. And I'm cutting just a square end on the packing there. Manufacturers prefer that you cut what they call a scarf joint, as you'll see here. I'm going to wrap the packing, continuous strand, just spiral it around the uh, dummy shaft. Need to get about five rounds on this so that I've got four good rounds of packing to put into the valve. Just try to keep it nice and neat as you go. If you don't keep it tighter on that shaft, you won't end up with the correct diameter of packing. Now we're going to cut it, not at a straight line like that, but at an angle, which gives us a scarf joint, so an overlapping joint, which manufacturers prefer, prefer so that you don't get this straight line cont uh, contact or butting edge, which can allow the liquids or the fluids under pressure to maybe track their way up through that. Next thing we have to do is just roll out the packing so we get a thinner section and that will slide down into the stuffing box nice and easy without having to try and force it down in there. You don't want to damage the packing. Just rolling it out with a piece of off-cut pipe does the job just nicely. Packing manufacturers don't like you to use a hammer to do it. If you do use a hammer if you just tamp it down with the shaft end of the hammer or mallet, it will be adequate just to flatten it out that little bit. Now back to the valve and we'll commence to pack the gland. Now the ends of this packing are butting up on the right hand side of the valve as you can see there. Push it down into the bottom. 
get the next strand and the two ends will butt up on the left hand side this time just lift the gland bush up wrap it around neatly just enter it down into the throat of the stuffing box and then get the bridge piece and push that right down as far as you can to the bottom the third round is going back to the right hand side so you don't get a continuous butting up joint going up through the stem or, or up through the stuffing box and this could allow the fluids or liquids under pressure to track their way up and out through the valve after all the, the purpose of valve packing is to prevent exactly that from happening you can see the bush now is sitting up a little bit we put this next one around it butt it up on the left hand side and when we push the gland bush down and use the bridge piece just to push down into the as far down as we can go it's going to sit up quite a bit, a bit and that's good because we need to leave quite a bit of adjustment onto the adjusting nuts so that the packing over the months and even years as we do our periodic maintenance we go around with a spanner and just take a half turn on the nuts equally on both sides and that just puts a little bit more compression onto the packing and just maintains the sealing for a longer period now to get the valve ready to go into service a couple of methods that we can use one is to put the valve in and to turn on the service and then watch for leaks and nip down to the leaking stops I prefer this method here which is nip down the the gland nuts spin the hand wheel and you'll see there when I did there was quite a bit of when I let go of the hand wheel it ran on free wheeled quite a bit so what we do is keep taking down the nuts and then spin the wheel and when the when the hand wheel when you take your hand off the hand wheel if the spindle stops dead that should be okay to put into service should be enough compression on the packing to do the job initially or from startup so let's watch and see here I pull that and that stops as soon as my hand goes off the hand wheel stops dead so that valve should be right to go just checking that I've got sufficient gap between the top of the bush and the top of the stuffing box for compressing because if you haven't then another round of packing needs to go in thank you for watching this video